Hey, I, I like that record. I, I, I want this song. I don't want that song. That's a white guy who's making that decision. I like the song with the obscenity. I don't like the song with the politics. So we're going to have this one on the CD and not that one. You understand? Or you want to continue to work for us? So that's the story of hip-hop, according to Patricia Rose. It is the corporate sale of racism. So, for example, Edgar Bronfman, uh, who is the CEO at, under whom Liar Cohen works, who deals with Jay-Z, uh, Edgar Bronfman is worth between $2.5 billion to $4 billion, depending on the year. Um, so... Yo, now if you see this is Bobby Smurder at Epic Records and he's displaying, I guess, his new single. And if you look at everybody that's around that's going to be working his record, majority of them are white. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm saying is this, and this is no disrespect, but I'm showing you exactly how it goes down in these offices. And yes, myself, I've been in those offices, so I know firsthand. And that's why I don't do the same music I used to do. Once I realized what they was doing. Now let me get back to this video because I got something even more important to show y'all. Boom, you just heard it for yourself, okay? Now, before we go any further, let me put you on game. The type of insurance that they're talking about is called key man insurance, okay? Listen, I'm about to show y'all the definition of what that is. And later on, I'll do a more extensive video about that. But this is going to make so much sense on why they push and put millions of dollars behind these rappers killing each other. And when they do... They cash out. Now, what's the definition of key man insurance? Check this out. Now, the type of insurance they take out is called key person life insurance. Sometimes they call it key man insurance. Key man insurance is a business life insurance policy taken out by a company to help protect against financial loss if an owner, partner, top executive, or essential employee passes away. Now you see why they get these jitter bull two, three hundred thousand dollars to get on wax to talk about killing each other. I keep telling y'all, this ain't got nothing to do with religion, ain't got nothing to do with God. This is man pushing this toxic ass message out and they benefit on both ends. Now you got to think about people like Dolph and other people who've passed from this type of stuff. Yep, this is the shit they ain't gonna tell you. 